G'day, I'm Jake from Make Science Fun. Thanks for joining me today. In this tiny science episode, I'm going to be looking at air pressure. The first thing I need to do is put some water into this little flask here. Uh, this is the conical flask, I don't need much. Oh, a little bit more. Oh, that's about it. Probably about oh, two mil in two mil in a five mil flask. And I'm going to add some colour. There we go. A little bit of blue. It's quite blue. And then let's pop this rubber stopper on, which has got a glass tube. Let's light up the tiny Bunsen burner. There we go, and I'll put my tripod and wire gauze on it. There's the tripod, there's the wire gauze, and the wire gauze will help distribute the heat. So I'll pop that there, and that will heat up and start boiling. Now I need water in this little 10 mil flask. Okay. Pop that there. start hearing it bubble a little bit but what's going to happen is that there's a fair bit of air there's a lot of air in that conical flask I need to try and get a vacuum in there for this air pressure demonstration so now it's boiling might just pop on my glasses here safety is very important and so now I've got steam coming out and so it's driving out all the air and it's filling this up with steam so now I'm going to quickly invert it. I'm going to quickly invert it into this flask. Whoa! Did you see that? If you blinked, you missed it. Oh. Air pressure is actually able to push it up 30 feet or 10 meters. I might just do a little bit longer. What do you think? Let's give it a go. Okay, I've got a much longer tube here and we're gonna see if, whether the air pressure can push that water up that long tube and into the conical flask. So it's starting to boil and that boiling will fill up the conical flask with steam and drive out the air. And then when we invert it, it will cool down, leaving a vacuum and air pressure will drive it up. Are we ready? Set. Okay, let's watch. Ah, it pushed it up. Look at that. Yeah. They actually used this method to empty coal mines in the past. You could actually push water up 10 meters out of a coal mine that was flooding. Oh wow, steam power. So this time I've got a much longer tube and I've got a, a bigger beaker here, 50 mil beaker, because I'm expecting there's more volume in this tube, so I need a bit more volume. I've also got a slightly uh, bigger flask, a 10 mil flask. So let's do it again. This time I'll use um, like yellow water. Okay, it's boiling away. I really, I'm, going to, I'm going to let it go for a bit longer this time because um, I really need to Really need to drive all that air out. Here we go, I can hear it now. Boop, boop, boop. It's pretty close. Are we ready? Alright, this is exciting. And I'm going to invert it. Three, two, one, upside down, put it in the water. Will we get will it work? Here it comes! Here it comes! So good! <laughs> you don't believe me? Look at that. 